What's going on, Power Directors? This is D22 with you today, and today we are going to be teaching you how to use the chroma key function in Cyberlink Power Director 11. So, how did I get from here to there? So, we're just going to go through the step by step. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go into modify and then save. So, we're going to start over. This is my footage with green screen. There's a green screen behind me. I want to make sure that I'm in front of a background. So what do we do here? What we do is we click the modify button and then it'll bring us into the PIP designer window. And then you have to make sure that you click on enable chroma key in order to key out colors. So we're going to key out a specific color here, the green. So as you can see, it keyed it out pretty nice and clean but there's still some residue here of unkeyed footage. So you set the tolerance and the intensity to acceptable levels so that it captures everything properly. So let's say right about, right about here. Now, it may not look perfect, but it's still gonna look very decent. So once we keyed our footage, how do we get rid of these little corners? Not a problem, let's uncheck that and then we can just put in a mask like this. We can resize the mask properly and apply it to our picture. So let's see what we got. Look, we masked out the corners. Isn't that awesome? So we don't have to do that cropping. Now that's just like a lazy man's way to do it. So masking is your way to go. So you go to mask, you pick your mask, boom, 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 that's it. So once you've had once you have your mask all ready to go, what we'll do is we'll click save. Be, make sure that you click save so that your changes will automatically apply. So what you do now is we are going to go to our media room, and then what we'll do, or that's the magic movie wizard. I just pressed the wizard button by accident. So we're going to apply a picture. So we're going to drag and drop the picture of the clouds. To our second timeline. Now notice here it's covering our chroma keyed footage. So what we need to do is we need to move it up. So we need to move it to the timeline on the right and then we have to apply this down. They use a layering system here so it, you have to make sure that it gets layered right so that it automatically allows you to look like you're actually in front of the clouds. So you have to make sure that your footage is keyed properly and that your JPEG or whatever photo matches your chroma keyed style. So it depends on what you want to do and how you want to chroma key your footage. So it, it just is up to you. So let's review what we did. We are going to go into the picture in picture objects room and there's our objects. Actually, no, wait, we won't do that. So we are going to do to do to do. We're going to go to edit. We go to our video. Now this is what we've done so far. We chroma keyed footage. We put a picture in, and then we masked it, and then we applied our picture. So let's review what we did. Make sure that you click on your video file to edit it. So you go to modify, <laughs> enable chroma key. Find your chroma color, set your intensity and hue. You can also set a shadow if you want. And you can also apply a border. Let's say if you want to apply like a slick yellow border or a slick black border like this. Make it all cartoonish. You can do that. You can also blur it. You can also make it transparent. And then you can also apply some motion paths to it. So there's a motion path right here where you're going up and up and up like that. Whoa. Looks really looks really freaky. And then you can apply it from side to side. What's up? What's up? What's up? Whoa. Anyways. And you can just close it. You can press the X to undo all the motions. Look, and here's a swirl. I'm so dizzy. And like I said, you can press the X again to get rid of those motions. There's a few to choose from here. I didn't know there was a heart. Huh. Okay. 
it's up to you. This is all your playground. And you can set the mask to however you want. And then once everything's done, you have something that looks really, really good. So you click Save, apply your changes, play back and see how it looks. Looks awesome. I'm in front of the sunset. And you render your footage and you're done. So that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll respond to you another time. Take care.